Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we're gonna do something really interesting. We're gonna compare Rubio Mosquera from the Dubai Pro 2024 to his previous version, last year's version from the Prague Pro 2023. And we're gonna try to figure out how much progress did Nexila make, if any. So we got these two videos, both of them are super high quality, we can exactly see what his physique looked like on that stage, on those stages, we also have another video in which his conditioning actually looks much better, he overall looks much better, and it's a video that Milo Sharchev took from the audience with his iPhone, and for some reason Rubia looks really shredded in this video, and he overall looks crazy, but this is not what we saw on the live stream, and not what we saw from the professional photographers. So the video we're gonna use was uh, taken with a professional camera by a professional photographer and videographer Moria Photo, and uh, it's showing, it's showing exactly what happened on that stage, what he looked like, so let's just begin, let's start with this first comparison, front double bicep, what exactly changed here, is Nexilla's physique different now, compared to one year ago, well, first, the first thing I notice is the change in posing, and overall, like basically in his posing routine and in the in the comparison rounds, his posing was definitely much better, and I'm sure that's Chris Cormier's influence, and also the way he was posing on that stage, his routine with dancing and everything, he was probably trying to emulate Chris Cormier, it didn't go that well, <laughs> because Chris really knew how to dance, and even back then that was also a little bit strange, but Chris got away with it, Nexilla did not, people did not like that routine, but as far as physique, as far as the front double bicep, the, the, the way he's hitting the pose now is definitely much better, he's tilting his body in one side a little bit, he's lifting one leg up and it's looking much better actually in his case, it's much better than with his feet close together and straight forward like that, his upper body posing is also much better, he's uh, lifting his elbows up a little bit higher, he's tilting his torso a little bit, he's uh, flexing his abs a little, he's not just you know chest up, uh, arms to the side, legs straight and that's it, now this front double bicep looks much better, a lot better, in terms of posing, but even though he's presenting his physique in a better way, can we still be able to notice the changes in like muscularity, in the proportion of his upper body to lower body, I think it is better, or at least he did something with posing to make it seem better, because this year his legs did not seem that dominant, and I don't think his legs are down in size, I think they are probably the same, maybe they lost a little bit of volume, maybe, maybe, but I would say overall proportion, upper body to lower body is definitely better now. So let's say his legs stay the same, then what did he improve in his upper body? Are his arms bigger? Yeah, I would say a little bit, I would say his triceps are hanging lower, and you know, the way he's posing, his biceps are also looking a little bit bigger and peakier, uh, as far as the chest, they're pretty similar, uh, lats as well, so I don't think there is a huge difference in terms of size in the upper body, it's not as obvious as we all thought it's gonna be based on his physique updates, but then there is also the problem with conditioning, his conditioning was a lot better last year, maybe not a lot better, but it was definitely better, and you can definitely see it if you pay attention to like his midsection, to his quads, at least in this pose, so I think he has less details in his quads now, than last year, you're gonna see that in the other poses as well, especially abs and thighs, but you can still notice it here, I don't know if it's only the conditioning issue, or maybe because he didn't train his quads too much, they lost some details, that happens, you know, sometimes when bodybuilders have a dominant body part, they don't train it as hard as the other body parts, they let it rest a little, so the, the rest of the body catches up, and in the process, yeah, they achieve what they wanted to achieve, but they also lose some details in the body part, and I think that's what happened with Nexilla here, but I think long term this is uh, the, the right approach, because he can't allow himself to grow those legs anymore, and I think with like different approach to training, and with better conditioning, and just with overall time, and letting his body mature, I think his legs are gonna have more details in the future, he's never gonna have Hari Japan details in the quads, like that's never gonna happen, uh, best case scenario he's gonna achieve what Big Grammy achieved, but that's gonna take time, just like it took uh, Big Grammy, so overall I think the balance 
is improved, conditioning was worse, if it was better or the same, we would see probably more improvements, but the way it is, I'm not even sure which, which edition is better, posing is better, but like everything else, I don't know, let's go with the next pose. And it's gonna be side chest, for some reason he didn't do uh, the front lat spread this year, he did it last year, but this year he did not hit it, so the next pose is gonna be side chest, so let's take a look at this one and let's see, did he really improve his upper body? Because legs in this pose, even last year, they had some detail. Like the side quad actually had some cuts, some striations. It wasn't bad. From the side, it wasn't bad at all. Like, who else has deeper cuts from the side? Uh, it's very rare to see deeper cuts than this. So I think from the side, it was okay last year. And this year, it actually looks even better. The cuts look deeper. But I think it's just the lighting. It's a, it's a better shadow. So I think it's very, very similar uh, size-wise also. I think he's actually posing better, so his hamstrings are popping out even more this year, so his lower body actually, uh, it looks better, but that's not an issue, lower body was never the problem, the problem was, if we're talking about muscularity, upper body to lower body ratio, and in this height chest, I mean, the angle is not the same, he's definitely opening up a lot more uh, in the foot on the left from last year, so it's really hard to compare, but, you know, I don't see a big change in terms of size of the upper body, I mean, he actually looks smaller this year, but again, it's probably just the angle. What we can see, however, is the difference in conditioning. So his conditioning was definitely better last year. I think we can say that for sure now after seeing this pose. Look at the chest details, look at the shoulders. I mean, he was definitely leaner and drier last year. You can even see it in the face. Like, his face was kind of bloated this year. And last year, it was a little bit chiseled. So last year, his conditioning was fine. It could have been better, but it was fine. This year, it was bad. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't good. So hopefully in five weeks he will improve it, we're gonna see exactly what he looks like in his full potential, but as far as muscularity, did he really gain that much size in the upper body? I mean, he did gain some, but maybe not that much. Alright, now let's turn to the back, and let's see what kind of improvements he actually made from the back. This dancing needs to end, <laughs> that's for sure, that's one thing we know for sure. Now, as far as the back itself, I mean, last year, it was decent already. I didn't like the way he was posing, but it wasn't bad. Like, the back wasn't weak. It wasn't uh, narrow. It wasn't uh, small. He had some lats. He had everything, basically, traps especially. Uh, but this year, man, I don't know. I mean, he changed his posing. He's lifting his elbows up a little bit, so he's opening up a little bit more. He's not squeezing the back as much. But I think his back actually looked kind of better when he was squeezing it. Although he wasn't as wide in the shoulders, his lower back, like the lats, actually seemed a little bit thicker last year because of that. But now he's posing with a little bit more width. So I guess, you know, his lower body to upper body ratio kind of looks better now. But then the conditioning. The conditioning was definitely much worse, especially from behind. You can't notice it that much in the back itself. You may notice a little bit more water uh, on the on the foot on the right, but uh, as far as the lower body, you can see a big difference in the hamstring conditioning. Glutes, not that much. They were pretty much the same, maybe even uh, even more conditioned now. But I would say not the drier, maybe just a little bit. Um, maybe he trained a little bit harder and they have deeper separation, but they're not they're not leaner necessarily. However, hamstrings. There is a rather big difference in hamstrings, you can see some details, you can see dryness, you can see some fibers even on the phone on the left, you know, the conditioning was pretty good, like, he was overall dry, the back itself was dry, the, the, the hamstrings were dry, sure, glutes could have been more conditioned, more striated, but they were also pretty dry, like, he definitely wasn't holding water and not that much fat last year. This time around, he was definitely watery, there was zero separation in the hamstrings, uh, back was also a little bit watery, so, you know, it's really hard to compare these two photos because he's not in his best shape now, but overall, I still wouldn't say that he added a ton of muscle in his body, at least in his back, I mean, in his back double bicep, he doesn't look that much better, that much different, especially after seeing all the progress physique update photos and uh, also, like, knowing how heavy he is at this show, which is around 300 pounds, 
it's not what I expected, but I would say the difference is noticeable. And I don't know how much it has to do with posing, but I think the balance is improved. So here, for example, he definitely does look wider in the back. And he is doing a little bit better job with posing, but still, like the lower body to upper body ratio, it does look better now, a little bit. So he did improve his upper body, not drastically, he changed the posing, he didn't dry out as much, he didn't get in condition like last year, but he did grow, for sure, a little bit, in his upper body. Now, as far as the abs and thighs, this is what I was talking about, like, the details in the quads. I mean, they weren't good last year, and they're not good this year either, but I think last year he had a little bit more details, actually. And the way he was posing last year, I think it was... Well, maybe not better, but it made his quads look better. He was holding his feet a little bit closer, so he could, like, press his thighs one next to another, so you could see some more details in the adductors. But, like, the vestus medialis, lateralis, rectus femoris, are those more separated now? No, no, I think they were more separated last year, but that's probably mainly the conditioning issue. I don't know how much it has to do with training. We'll see in a couple of weeks, in actually four or five weeks from now, at the Italy Pro, and we'll see if he actually made progress in that regard, but at this show, it wasn't better than last year. And also his abs were definitely not as good. Is this also a conditioning or water holding issue? You guys tell me, but it was definitely better last year. I mean, he was also posing a little bit different last year. He was uh, keeping his elbows closer. This year, he opened up a little bit more, so he actually seemed wider. But I actually prefer the last year's version. It wasn't perfect. He was still... Uh, his lats were still too big for his upper body, so the ratio, the, the proportion there was not very good, but I, I liked it, you know. Those abs were looking amazing, the legs were freaking huge. This year, it's nothing special, like the abs are not looking as good, and the way he's posing with his legs, they're not looking that impressive, so I think he should go back to his old way of doing it. And if he actually made progress in his upper body, the disproportion is not gonna be that visible. And the last comparison pose we got for today is the most muscular pose, and what do we see here? I would say the same thing like with abs and thighs, less details in the quads, and also I think his quads kind of lost the pop a little bit more. I think last year they were fuller and also more detailed. I liked his legs actually better last year. Again, it could be just the conditioning thing, but maybe it has to do with the training. Maybe he changed his training this year in order to make them uh, get smaller and you know lose some, some fullness, but he also lost some of those details and the shape a little bit. And the abs were better last year, the chest was just drier, so, I mean, he did make progress. I think he is actually, his upper body was a little bit bigger this year, but because of the conditioning and the dryness, I still prefer last year's physique overall. But if he nails the conditioning for Italy Pro with the new changes in posing and if he changes a couple of other things as well in posing which are not great this year, like uh, most muscular absent ties, I think he could do a better job with those two. I think more narrow stance looks better on him and if he gets once again more conditioned, maybe that show is gonna be his best yet. As of right now, I think he would do better this year if he was the way he was last year at Prague Pro. That was a really good Exila. Even though he made progression, I think with this conditioning, he couldn't really show it. So let's hope he's gonna show it in a couple of weeks. But as of right now, you guys tell me what do you think? Which physique is better? Did he actually make progress? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, about bodybuilding, please stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.